Today, President Joe Biden announced his nominee to the Supreme Court, federal judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. She's the first black woman to ever even be nominated to the high court. Since it's the year of our Lord, 2022, Biden first announced his pick on Twitter. Jackson's been the clear front runner for months. At the official event this afternoon, she said it always been important to her that she shares a birthday with Constance Baker Motley, the first ever black woman to be a federal judge. If confirmed, Jackson would also be the first ever formal federal public defender on the bench. And that's really important because most Supreme Court justices have a background of being a prosecutor or a corporate lawyer, so they have no experience defending poor people accused of crimes. Okay, so what next? Now the action moves to the Senate Judiciary Committee, where they'll hold hearings about her fitness and her qualifications to be on the bench. You may remember, unless you had a recent lobotomy, that these were the site of the very loud, very tearful confirmation hearings for Brett Kavanaugh in 2018. A few lawmakers on this committee include Senators Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley, who, to put it diplomatically, very much enjoy being in front of a camera. This is also the point at which Republicans could make life difficult if they wanted to. If they all just don't show up during the meeting to confirm Jackson and send her nomination to the Senate, it just gets stuck. A similar thing just happened on the Senate Banking Committee, where Republicans boycotted the hearing in opposition to a nominee to the Fed. It's still just floating in limbo. Senate Democrats may be able to band together and approve a rules change to circumvent the boycott, but it's still unclear. When the nomination gets to the floor, things get much easier for Democrats thanks to their closest friend, Mitch McConnell. In 2017, McConnell blew up the filibuster when it comes to confirming Supreme Court nominees, meaning it only takes a simple majority. So if every Democrat bands together, they can get Jackson onto the high court.